Hi everyone and welcome back to Techie and She. In this video on my channel, we are going to see how you can swap pie charts using simple calculations and a parameter in Tableau. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. Let us begin by connecting our data to the sample superstore data, which is what we'll use for this video. Once the data is connected, you can see all the fields on the left side. I'll pull up the category onto the row shelf and then I'll pull up sales onto the column shelf. As you can see, this shows me sales by category. So I'll just rename the sheet to show sales by category. And from the show me, I'm going to pick the pie. Now let's fit this to an entire view so that this takes the whole space. And then I'll enable the labels to show. Once that's done, I'll pull in the category as well as sum of sales onto my label shelf so that I can see the both the labels for the category and the sales. Now, I just want to duplicate the sheet and uh, just show a different way of the pie. So what I'll do here is I am just going to go ahead and rename this and call it profit by region. Here I'm going to pull region on top of category and profit on top of sum of sales. So as you can see, it's going to be simple. Just drag and drop on top of your fields. And this should be able to change your pie chart to start showing you profit by different regions. Now I'll pull up a new dashboard. In this dashboard, we need a new horizontal container so that I can fit both of my sheets into that horizontal container. As you can see, both my sheets are in the container. I don't need the legends for now, so I'll go ahead and delete that. And I don't need the titles as well because if you want to swap sheets, you can't have the titles on top of your sheets. So we'll go ahead and hide those. Now let's move to our uh, sum of the sales by category sheet and go ahead and create a new parameter. We'll call this as swap and this is going to be of a type string. We'll have a list value here and we'll just go ahead and say sales by category and second is profit by region, which is the name of your two sheets. It's up to you however you would want to name this and just go ahead and click OK. So now your parameter is created. We need to create a calculation on top of this. So I'll call this as swap sheet calculation. And over here we'll say if the parameter that we just created, which is swap is equal to sales by category, then return me the same string, right? So I'll just say return me sales by category. Otherwise, what we want to do is we'll return the profit by region as your string. So either this or that both the sheets are covered here, right? As you can see, this can be also done for more than more than two sheets, right? If you have three or four sheets as well, you can go ahead and cascade this calculation. Now you can go into custom value and add this filter over here. Go ahead and click on sales by category. And similarly, again, for the second one, you can just go ahead and pull the calculation into the filter and in the custom value, go ahead and say profit by region. So in the respective sheet, you need to add the custom value of the respective parameter value that you want to see. If you can see right now, if I bring in the parameter here, the swap parameter, if I swap, it's not taking the entire place. It's just uh, you know, showing in the same part of the container. Now, how can I enable it to fit the entire container? So for that, what we will do is let's go to one of the sheets and in the columns, what you will do is you will just enter a, a double quotes, double quotes, which is a blank calculation and you will hide the header as well. And similarly in the other uh, profit by region uh, sheet as well, you will go ahead and do the same thing. Now, if you see, uh, if you if you can just go ahead and hide again the header here as well and if you head back to your dashboard you will see that the sheets are taking the entire space on the dashboard which was not the case earlier right so this is how you should be able to swap your sheets very easily a pie chart basically easily onto your dashboard uh, i'll just do a little bit formatting over here to make sure that this um, is done so just go ahead and add a title and I'm inserting the parameter as well to give it um, the values that we need to show here. As you can see, the pie chart for the parameter swap. So I'm saying pie chart for 
sales by category and similarly if i swap to profit by region my heading also changes now this uh, parameter which we have also can come out of the container and the whole area can be used by this particular sheet itself so as you can see swapping of the pie charts is very easy using this method so this is a simple method of how you can basically swap a pie chart which was not usually possible with the basic way in which you create it this parameter switching is very simple and only needs a single calculation over here on your dashboard once both of these are configured correctly swapping the sheets is much easier in tableau i hope you liked this video and you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to hit on the subscribe button and do like this video as well i'll keep coming up with a lot of new ones in future so don't forget to subscribe i'll see you on the next one bye bye